Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Now in today's lesson, what I'd like to do is show you how to use absolute positioning in CSS to style something like this. Now this is something you would typically see maybe in a blog, you have your main header image, and maybe the author's little avatar image somewhere on the left or the right. It's actually very simple to achieve. So let's head over to Visual Studio Code where I've got a few files just ready prepared. I've got my index.html, I've got my style.css, both blank at the moment, and then I've dropped in a couple of images. One is that countryside image, and one is the author's avatar image as well. In the index file, let's go ahead and set up a very basic template, and we can do that using Emmet by typing in an exclamation mark and then pressing Enter. Let's have the title of this as maybe absolute positioning. And then just in here, let's link across to that style sheet. So the link href equals, it's the style.css and the relationship is equal to, and it is style sheet. And close that off. Let's create a container to hold everything. So a container div, so all I need to do is say dot container and then press my tab key that creates that container div and inside that container div I want to hold this whole thing in a single div so this image here and this image here contained in another div now you don't need this container div I've just put that there to show you what a normal page structure might look like but in my little div here that holds the blog header let's just give it a class of blog header so that's my div there and inside that I need to include those two images so the first one image the source is equal to now you might have these in a different folder so I've just put them in the root folder here so the first one is countryside.jpg and the second one is image source equals and this one is the author.jpg Okay, so that's the two images. Let's go across to the browser and have a look at that. So I'll go into my other tab here, or refresh, and those are my two images contained within that div. Now, obviously, they are not styled correctly. There's no CSS in there yet. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of styling, and I think the first thing to do is just to center this div on the page. So across to my style.css, and I'm going to target the container. Now I'm going to use a flex here. So display is going to be flex. And then I'm going to justify content and justify the content center. So now when I refresh, I have everything centered on the screen. Now the next thing we want to do is obviously position this over here. And we're going to use absolute positioning for that. Now to do that, I will need to give the blog header a position of relative. So dot blog header and this position will be relative. We'll go across, do a quick refresh and you can see that makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. What I need to do is to take this blog author image here and position it over here using position absolute. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the first thing I want to do is to give this author image a class. So class equals, and the class will be, well, anything I want it to be really. So let's say it's blog author image. And then in my style.css, I need to target that. Dot blog author image. Okay, the first thing is the position. So the position is going to be absolute. The next thing, let's position it from the left hand side. So from the left, let's say I'll give it position of 25 pixels from the left. Go across and refresh. And now you can see it is 25 pixels from that left hand side. Now I also need to position this vertically and I need it to be down here. Now, if I position it 25 pixels from the bottom, you'll see what happens. So if I say bottom and 25 pixels and refresh, we can see it's 25 pixels from the bottom. Now I want this author's image to be positioned lower down. And to do that, I need to give it a negative. So I'll try negative 25 and see what that looks like. We'll refresh. 
That seems to be reasonable. I'm happy with that. Now, the other thing I want to do is to give it a radius. I want this to be a round image. So what I can do here is give it a border radius. So border dash radius and will be, let's say 50 pixels. Now my image is 100 by 100. If I take half of that around each of the corners, that will give me a circular image. Refresh and there we go. The other thing I would like to do is to have a white border around this avatar image. And that's quite easy to achieve. We'll just say border. We'll have a three pixel margin on this. It'll be solid and it will be white. And if I refresh, there is my white border. Now, the thing I need to consider is I've just increased the dimensions of that whole image. It is now 106 pixels, the 100 from the original image and three either side. So what I need to do is now increase this border radius to 53. Go back, refresh, and now I have a correctly dimensioned circle. And that's it for this lesson. If you enjoyed the video, you found it useful, you know what to do, hit that thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you would like to be notified when I release new videos in the future. The other thing, just a quick reminder, head on over to Coding Academy, link in the description below and see the full courses that are on offer.